In Uganda, many parents don't name their children until they're at least one week old because they can't be sure their babies will survive that long. Each year, 75,000 Ugandan children are born dead or die as newborns. You don't know whether Peter will make it, especially in the rural areas. Dr. Peter Weiswa runs the Makarere University Center of Excellence, conducting research to keep more moms and babies alive. He says 6,500 Ugandan mothers die each year, often because they can't get access to quality care while giving birth. He says that's a problem throughout Sub-Saharan Africa and South Asia. It's the same in Africa and Asia. Um, the window of opportunity is just too short and the, the health system is not delivering many times during that window. Dr. Weiswa says more Ugandan mothers and babies die on nights and weekends, simply because health workers don't want to work during those hours. He says global goals are important, but many countries still need more local government leadership to achieve them. It's a, a very high mountain, and sometimes I wonder whether the global knows what it takes or it would take to climb this mountain. At a recent conference in Washington, D.C., Dr. Weiswa joined other global health leaders to discuss solutions, like the ones being adopted in India, where health workers are now getting special training in neonatal care. We have been able to push the government to, to introduce one entire chapter in, the, in our curriculum on how to prevent uh, this thing, uh, neonatal mortality. Dr. Weiswa says Ugandan clinics now distribute medicines to protect new moms and babies from bleeding and infection after birth. He wants Uganda to do what its neighbors Rwanda and Ethiopia do. Their governments have made health care spending a priority. You cannot have uh, sustainability, quality, equity, um, and high coverage when you are living it through outsiders. Dr. Weiswa also says that political pressure can actually help spur better health care outcomes. He says it actually became an issue in this year's Ugandan presidential race, and it actually encouraged Ugandans to demand quality care. Jessica Stone, CCTV, Washington.